Last night, Amma became the fifth person to be evicted from the Big Brother house. This is the story of the week leading up to her exit, retold with new material. Hi, I'm Brian. No, you're not. <laughs> It's the morning after Bubbles eviction. The housemates are starting their sixth week cut off from the outside world. For the third week running, Paul has survived the public vote. How are you feeling this hour, Elizabeth? I'm feeling all right, Helen. I'm a bit sniffly. Yeah. I'm a wee bit tired. Mm. Apart from that, I'm bloody grand. I have never seen a man look at his hair in the mirror so many times. Oh, no! Oh, my God, though. Worse than any of the girls. Oh, no, it's bad. Isn't Every it? single... Those two mirrors, the one outside our I bedroom... I do it loads, don't I? And that one there. I know. Every time... Oh, my to, God. I was talking to Helen about it this morning, and I was like, we do look in the mirror so much, but all my mates... But it's not we do, it's you! The king of Satan. Your beady eyes and your gawky feet. <laughs> Sure. Is it quite supposed possible you're just opposing actually? Can't help yourself. No, I'm not opposing. I don't think I'm opposing at all. Mm -hmm. I think I'm vain. I'm not a poser. I, I think there's a difference. No, there is a difference. Isn't yeah, I'm not a poser. See, then Stuart I'm was a poser. I'm not so, I'm Stuart not, was a poser. Yeah, I'm not, so, I'm, I'm not someone who. So that's okay. I'm not someone who would want a fast car to chicken wing in that. I'm not that type of person. Uh, but I am chicken vain. wing? Oh, I didn't know that's what it's called. Chicken winging. Ah! You never, you never heard that? No! Never. <laughs> For this week's task, the group must try to teach an old dog new tricks. There's eight <laughs> tricks. One is holding an object. The dog must hold the rubber bow for ten seconds without oh, dropping it. Oh, my God. Dogs won't do that. The they dog will. must lie down for ten seconds on command. Uh, shake hands. You know that one? Mm -hmm. Paddy, a six-year-old Bichon Freeze, will visit the house for four hours a day. No, don't scream. You're really it scary. It's going to be one okay, of these. Scream. Honestly, you're really scary. Where is it? It's going to be one of these. Over the next four days, the housemates are required to practice the tricks with Paddy. It will be tested on four. It's a poodle! It's a poodle! Oh, my God, it's gorgeous. It's not that nice. Oh, it's stunning. Has he gone in? Paddy. Paddy! <laughs> Oh, <laughs> oh, it's like it's like snobby, isn't it? Oh, it's gorgeous. The housemates have gambled 50% of next week's shopping budget on getting Paddy to perform the trick successfully. They haven't risked such a high amount since the first week in the house. It's all right. He's just unsure. Can you look at that camera? He's really on there. He's fine. Yeah, yeah. He does not like camera. He's growing on the camera. Paddy, you tell him, Paddy. On. Paddy, come on. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Paddy, come. Task rules state that Paddy should have no more than 20 minutes training per hour. Paddy, lie down. Good boy. Paddy, roll over. Roll over. Roll over. Come on, Paddy. Paddy. He looks like a gay dog. He looks like a gay dog. He's very campy. Why move his tail? Are there gay dogs? No. I don't think so. Anyway, that's actually a really good question. That's kind of fascinating, isn't it? Yeah. Animals. Are, are there gay animals? That's what we do. Fourteen ten. Game point. Yeah. 
24 hours after Paul survived the eviction vote, Helen is called to the diary room. A few people think um, the wrong person went yesterday, you know, and I think um, a, few, a few people were a little bit tense this morning. More in, right? <laughs> Poor love! They tried to get rid of him, but it just doesn't seem to work. I know he finds it funny, and I find it quite funny. Um, but um, I think it's starting to irritate people. But I do feel sorry for Paul being up for nomination three times in a row. Do you know what I mean? It does. It must be hard on him. My face and features are so important. Yeah. Been through a lot in here. Like my birthday seems like months and months and months ago. This is what I was just thinking. By lying here, like it's just feeling like, yeah. and I'm looking at you, and you've got that bloody thing on your forehead, <laughs> and I'm going, and it's Saturday night, and I'm thinking, what is going? In the house, show me a tune that, that doesn't make you feel. A tune? Something that makes a little, how does it make you feel inside? Um. Just where Brian makes you feel. Uh, Brian makes you feel, no, Brian makes you feel like this. Okay, Elizabeth. Emma. Helen. Paul. Mm-hmm. Oh. I'm going to not give him food or do anything with him for a while to get him interested in the toys. Come here, Paddy. Toys. Yeah, that's true. Elizabeth is making lentil soup for lunch. Oh, God. Oh, dear. Day two of week six. <laughs> yep. Had a dream last night that I left the house. Yeah. I was nominated to leave, and um, I, I even know who I was nominated with. Obviously, I can't say, but... Really? I can say, because it's just a dream. Yeah, I suppose. I, I, I was sitting down here. Was, I was sitting down here, and myself and Helen's name were called out. I mean, Helen were absolutely delighted. Really? Yeah, and I ended up going, and I kept saying, "Oh, but I said, Helen, I said you're not going, you're not going." I went to be in that last place. She announced my name, Brian, and I got up, and everyone, everyone kept saying, "I don't know why." Oh, he looks so happy now. He was never happy in the house. <laughs> The housemates compare their knowledge of world affairs. You can't just know what posh and Bix are about and what's in Hello magazine. That's not enough knowledge in your brain. But I can talk about other things. Well, I asked you where Rwanda was. You didn't know. Uh-huh. But there's a lot of problems there, isn't there? Because I'd heard things. What have you heard? Fighting and loads of things, people running from one country to another. <laughs> Sonic That's it. right. But I'm right, though. Yeah. The refugees and everything. Yeah. What's happening mm. in America with their economy? Oh, I don't know. I'll like <laughs> tell you the weird thing about that is you don't care about that, but no, that is if, it, if it went pear shapes, that affects us. It would affect massively. your wages. I honestly have no idea of the economy in America. You know who the new president is, though. Uh huh. Who? <laughs> There's no fashion involved. So I know that move. the two guys that went for it had to get their votes recounted and yep. went to court. Yeah. Oh, well done. Because I remember watching that on Sky News. Between fashion swaps. Between VH1, actually, yeah. <laughs> and who is it? I know, I know who it is. What? Shh. Helen. Something Bush. I think. My... Yeah, I think, yeah. yeah. Richard Bush? No. no. George Bush. George Bush's yeah. Bush. 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 it is. It is. That's something we discussed. Who was the first man on the moon? That's an easy one. Oh, God. Dean. I'm actually missing things now as well. I'm quite a lot. Mm. I had the first time it's hit me. What are you missing? Just general things. Walk down the shops. Yeah. I want my newspaper. In less than 24 hours' time, the group must nominate each other for eviction. Do you know what's really, really funny? Go on. Is that I couldn't possibly talk to you the way I would talk to you. Not in here. 
Why not? Because you do talk down to me sometimes, and it is quite amusing. Oh. Do but I really? I, oh, no, yeah, I step back from it, because I think it's funny. Honestly, you really should stop me, because that's something yeah, but I you can't do, no, stand. But, babe, but it's not just me. No, but me. it's not just me. It's not just me. It is everyone. I don't talk it. down to you. No, no, not you. Do You're I? saying when I Emma talk, talk down to no, no, everyone. No, no, when Emma talk, you talk to people, Sometimes you do talk like you're talking down to them. I could never have a conversation with you in here because my personality, someone like you, I would actually tear to pieces. Why don't you, though? No, because it's not appropriate Oh, my God, in here. But I, No, no, that's what I'm more. saying. My personality is actually no, very, very no. strong. Mm. And because it's so strong, I oh deal with God. different people in different ways. I, because I it's not, it's not right. I don't think I'm ever so horrible or whatever to you to the point where you'd need to shred me to pieces. I don't think I ever say anything to you that would make you want to upset me. And I don't think you're the kind of person no, who would upset me for no, no reason. That's Sweet. why I think by being saying. yourself. It's that I wouldn't. Oh, no. well, I'm having a bit of a ding dong ding. Yeah. Hello. Mm, bit what? of a ding dong ding dong ding dong ding. Exactly. Sure. What about? I'm not interested. I'm just talking. I've allowed you to do everything you've done in Yes, here. but I've if you, you listen to what I'm saying, I'm saying that I react to you the way you treat See? me, and, I, and I'm, I'm only going to continue here, to react in that way, I am the aren't person I? in control in this house. Of whom? My, what happens to me in here, I'm Absolutely totally in control. Of what ha you are in control of what happens to and you. And also you... in control of us. No. Oh, yeah. No way. Why so? <laughs> The housemates are burning joysticks brought into the house by Elizabeth as one of her luxury items. I feel a bit more sort of chilled tonight. I, think. I do now. I feel all right I feel, now. I feel quite chilled out here. With them, it's quite nice with these outside. Yeah, it is actually quite calming. Mm. Just go to bed early, get out for the dog. Totally, I am. I'm going to go to bed quite soon, actually. I took, didn't get sleep. Early dog, of course. Oh, if only you could sleep, though. I didn't sleep for ages yeah, yeah. last night. Yeah. There's no even going in there, is it? Just going... It's awful, yeah. Tony, you need to bring in that merch. <laughs> I do not walk like that, Dean, do it's, I? It's a, no. Like... It's nomination, dear. Buddy, beg. Stand up. Yes, cutie. Yes, you're good at that. Spin. Good boy. So hot. Unbelievably warm. And so I don't humid. have a fur coat on. You are just the most amazing little free chambrise. We're going to have to do nomination soon, aren't we? I hate it. I absolutely hate it. So still, it's unreal. Mm -hmm. So what? Still. It's like nothing, no breeze, nothing. It's probably a storm coming, I think, actually. Mm. Four people have gone, isn't that weird? For the fifth time since they entered the house, the group must nominate each other for eviction. This is Big Brother. Okay. Would Emma please come to the diary room? Come on, Emma! My first nomination is Paul, because I don't get on with him as well as some of the others. My first nomination is for Paul, and the reason is um, I get on with other people in the house better than I do with Paul. Second nomination is for Emma. You know, as the weeks go by, I find out now that I want to be here with more people, more so than others, and the people I want to be here with. Obviously, because we're going to week six, those people I'd like to have things in common with and, you know, laugh a bit more and be able to discuss more things. 
They want to see into your eyes. They want to see into your honesty, into your soul. My nomination is Paul. My second nomination is Amma. I feel we've probably had different upbringings, come from different backgrounds. I would say that I get on better with Helen than I do with Amma. This is Big Brother. Could Josh please come to the diary room? No, yes. Never eaten a pig scab in my life, you see? Hairy lesbian. <laughs> okay, my first uh, nomination for this week is Amma. The reason I've chosen her this week is because I feel she's been rather temperamental, sort of bad tempered, and a little bit aggressive towards people in the group. Okay, my second nomination is Brian. Um, the reason for this is it has been a struggle with Brian all along. I don't really think he gets on well with me and he hides it. Okay, um, Amma. Purely the fact that, you know, pff, don't think she's had a lot of respect for me from day one. Um, I think, you know, I do think she's, I think she's a nice girl and so on, but at the end of the day, out of the people who are left, I would rather stay in the house with the rest of them. Should we play volleyball then? Let's yeah. do something. Yeah, I'm off her. With four nominations each, Amma and Paul are up for eviction. So. Release and tension. <laughs> The housemates won't find out who's facing the public vote until tomorrow. Helen tries on her eviction dress. Oh, look, that's what it is. Okay. Wait a minute. I need, I need to just sit. Where's the bra? I'm not on there. That's okay. That goes. Might, might, can you take it off? Take it off. You can't actually tell what's going to do. Hair up. Which in? Oh, 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 this could be the one. Oh, to do it. Do I need you to bring in that merch? Right, now let go. Right. It looks stunning. Because you've got such beautiful back detail on the dress as well, it'd be a shame not to see it. Make sure it can't get I think you're better pulling it where you get down like that. Yeah, I've got to keep pulling it down. I'm sticking there, I think I need to sit it's definitely going to be a no-nick no dress as well. Yeah. Do you think you look thinner? No, I look thinner the day I tried it on. Well, then that's OK, then. You've, got, you've got a good... Two weeks, I think. No, I don't think I have. I think you've got a good two weeks to do what you need to do, at least. 8.41pm. Dina's made spaghetti bolognese for dinner. Dina's is really nice, but since I tried my dress, dress on, I, I don't, don't think I'll be able to eat it all. Cool. You try it on and you can't fit into it. Want. Yeah, I can't fit into it, but it's a bit of a... It's not snug. I wouldn't say it's snug. It fits me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You say snug. But, no, it's not snug, but you did see yourself, you found it a bit... Yeah, but that's... Comfy. It was too comfy. Oh, Just God. bread and water and nothing else for no seven days. No bread happening. Just nothing, then, for seven days. Oh, God. What? God. what? I, I, well, I bet right. you I won't eat nothing Loads? tomorrow. <laughs> Big Brother has set the group a two-day challenge. They must write and perform a soap opera about their Big Brother experience, with housemates playing each other. They'll be judged on their final performance in 24 hours' time. Josh will play Brian. <laughs> I've got all his clothing on. <laughs> Look what he's wearing! Yay! Yes! His clothing. He's <laughs> never worn that. I like that top. Where? Hi. <laughs> Come on, Rosie. Come on. <laughs> I do not walk like that. Dean, do it's, I? It's a, no. Not exactly. But it's accentuating. <laughs> 1 37 a.m. Everyone's gone to bed except Dean and Brian. For three weeks running, both have nominated Paul for eviction. What people relate to Paul? Not being smart. Maybe people do. Mm, well, they must do, because... They must. Because he won I mean, well, I'm not going to insult any of the general public out there, people that do vote for Paul. You know, I say keep him in the house. <laughs> but with all due respect, they must be 10 years of age, they love Star Wars, and they can kick their legs really high. <laughs> and they're girls, probably. <laughs> Today, the housemates will be told who's facing the public vote. I'm so sure I might have been nominated. I honestly can't see it myself. No, actually, I think if I am, I think I'm going. 
Brian has told the group that if he escapes nomination, he'll have his head shaved. Yes, if I have no hair, the weather's OK, it's time my scalp. Yeah. Make sure you put loads of stuff on. Do I just your scalp tan easily? Yeah, because it's the top of your head, you know what I mean? Oh, does it? Yeah, it's always getting the sun. Good luck to everybody. Yeah. Good luck to everyone. It's, 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 it, it's been it'll be six weeks and four weeks. Yeah. So it's like a good anyone. time for anyone. Yeah. I won't quite have made This is Big Brother. <laughs> there are two people Told nominated you. for eviction this week. Can't believe that. Oh. They are in alphabetical order. <sighs> Anna and Paul. Oh, oh my God! God. Okay. Oh, just gonna go. I've got longer to get dinner now, guys. For the following Friday. You have, haven't you? Yeah, I'm ending my. Oh, you could have a chuck ice. No, I'm not. Hi, girl. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the difference. Hi, I'm Brian. No, you're not. <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> Josh has decided to have his head shift too. Here we go. I'll make another bet here about having head shaved. If you stay, you if I stay on Friday, that's four times. Have I'll have my. Paul, I'll have don't my butt. do it. What? Well, I'm the only one with hair now. Out of all the blokes, what's that all about? <laughs> Go away. It's just a bit free there. Oh, is that under the...? Yeah, I said a bit at the end. It's with me. It's me and you, Paul. I know, mate. I know. Oh, I see ya. I oh, know. But the way you've got to see it, yeah, is... Whoever you go up against, it's, it's, it's different. It's but then wrong. I don't actually see it as... I know it matters who you're up against, but then, number one, it isn't a competition anyway. No. That's that's for them outside yeah. to do. It is kind of like, you know, the last three weeks have been pretty mad, but it doesn't mean shit, because each week's a different animal completely. Fetch. Fetch. <laughs> Fetch. <laughs> I don't get what is going on. But the inmates... What is going on? There's nothing... I thought there was nothing going on. No, 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 no. There is something going on. Have you got a girlfriend? Actually, no, I bat for the other team. Just <gasps> like him. <gasps> the group are performing the soap opera they've written, playing housemates past and present. Welcome to the Big Brother Ranch. We don't have much food, but we never fight. So, Helen, look, babes, what is it you do? I'm a hairdresser. I work for Classy Cuts. Crappy cuts, you mean, don't you, lass? <gasps> I wouldn't get me a cut round your naff gaff. Big G, so gonna kill you. Oh, what's going on? Come Anna? and meet another oh, housemate. Oh, oh, hi. Josh, this is Brian. Brian, this is Josh. I'm hi, your Brian. housemate. Hi, Josh. Nice tan. Shame about the wrinkles. Clothes are OK. Shame about the face. You're pungent, you're vile, and we have nothing in common, and I'm not changing rooms for anybody. <laughs> Oh, Brian, that gingivitis, get it sorted out. Oh! Come on, Josh. Such a witch, he doesn't even know me. Why is he being so mean? Meanwhile, back in the dining room. <laughs> nasty, nasty boy, nasty, nasty boy, nasty, nasty boy. Rolling, rolling, fuck that rolling. Nasty, nasty boy. Woo! <laughs> now look, Penny, I think you're totally quite oh, bad, no. okay? But you know my cup of tea. Oh, oh I Chicken demons, demons! Ben, what's up there? Oh. What demons? Where? With Elizabeth, with the meal. Here's dinner. It's time for those Big Brother sausages. Without them, our fortunes would be lost. Mm. Absolutely. Oh. These are my sausages! All right, all right, all right. What an interesting day today has been. It's been very eventful. All four boys nominated Amma for eviction. Where is Elizabeth? I'm talking in the garden with Dean. 
I thought she went to bed. She's not there. Were you surprised today? No. No. I wasn't either. I sensed during the week that a few, certain people had a few issues with Emma. Yeah. Um, I didn't. Did you know about that before? Yeah, I knew before. I knew a few people had issues with Emma. I did not. Yes, quite a lot of the men had issues with her. Yeah. Problems with her, so no, I wasn't surprised. Yeah. Yes, I'm sad because it might be another female that goes, but no, I'm not because everyone's going to go. <laughs> Including myself. Mm -hmm. Come on. It's the final day of the housemate's weekly task. Now, you have to come to him, remember? In three hours' time, they must perform four of the tricks they've been teaching Paddy. Paddy? Fetch. 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 Mm, I have to work on that trick. They've risked half of next week's £49 shopping budget on Paddy succeeding. Come on. 9.33am. Josh is cooking porridge for everyone. Why does this place so constantly look a bomb site? Oh, no, there's just no way around it, mate. It's unbelievable, isn't it? Who's the bitch in the kitchen? Oh, it's Josh. <laughs> Anna's destiny shall be revealed on Friday. Will she stay or will she go? Well, let's go, well, let's go now. Only Divian McCall knows the answer. Join in live. Josh's like, if I wasn't stirring this porridge, I swear I'd belt him one. Oh, I'm quite far. I'm used to you by now, Brian. <laughs> Josh is called to the diary room. As the weeks are going by, is there anything you're finding more difficult in the house? I actually find it more difficult to get on with Brian, I have to be honest, because he's constantly sort of refraining back at the moment. And uh, I'm, I dare say that I might bite back sooner or later. He's very, he is very witty, he's very funny, he's got a great sense of humour, but um, it can be constantly directed at my myself and even other people keep asking me is he having a go at you and I'm so, I just laugh it off most of the time but it can be a bit wearing 12 16 p.m. it's time for the group to be tested on the task the four tricks they're required to perform with Paddy will be drawn by lot Brian has volunteered to make the draw oh it's evil oh, it's God. completely evil Show it that way. It's Play dead. Okay, that's not too bad. It's possible. Oh, it's lottery. It's lottery. Stand on back legs. Last one now, Brian. Lie down, Paddy. Lie down. It's just the fetch. The housemates have chosen Amma to attempt the tricks with Paddy. They have a five-minute time limit to complete all four. Okay. Amma, watch your Paddy. Good boy. Yes. Good boy. Good boy. Is lie down. Yes. Paddy, sit. Good boy. Now, Paddy, lie down. Nope, lie down. Good boy. Stay. Keep him there. Keep him there. Wait. Keep him there. That's cool. Wait. That's cool. Good boy, Paddy. Play dead. Lie down. Right. Good boy. Wait. Wait. Dead. No, dead. Dead. Good boy, Paddy. Good boy. Right, now, please fetch the thing now. It all rests on the last trick. Sit, Paddy. Sit. We counted. Come here, darling. Get the thing. Go on. Paddy, you're required in the garden with me. Oh, well, you, can't, you, can't, you obviously can't teach an old dog new tricks, can you? Oh. I've got a newspaper. I've got yeah. the, um, Mind you, it's funny that, it's teaching old dog new tricks. I thought that fetching was the oldest one in the book. This is Big Brother. As Paddy did not do all the yeah. tricks, yeah. we're going to fail this week's He's starts. not going to have any food. You have £24.50 oh. to spend on next week's shopping. 
one and four pound fifty. There's a license. Table. Oh, how frustrating, unrewarding, disappointing, and horrible that was. Mm. But you kind of knew when you first pulled it, that mm. mm, okay. Poor Patty. I think when Emma gets out, Patty will be waiting for her in the studio. Oh, I want Patty there. I like Patty. Oh, I don't. <laughs> I want the person who thought up the task to be in the studio yeah, so I can poke him in the eye. <laughs> <laughs> See, Paddy knew I had to slim into my dress. That's why he's done it. 10.42pm. The housemates have been playing volleyball for one hour and 20 minutes. Okay, Got H. Dude. Well, I heard go on H. Yeah, I know. I'm just trying to get you into it. But then I see you running towards yeah, me. Yeah, I was going to always start from the dreamland. I didn't, I just you see this. Is your so sore? Yeah. Yeah, one more. Really, really sore, really sore. Then that's nice for me, though, Sean. Oh, sorry. I've had enough. Yeah. Yeah. You, can't say, you can't say anything, let's play a game. I don't want to be in this bloody house no more. Oh, oh. I'm pissed off with it now. It's just that if you want to have a game, you want to Jean shouts at us, I just yeah. wipe it off and so do exactly. you. Exactly, exactly. It's just a game. Will you stop playing because of me? Me? No, just that enough. Don't be daft. Oh, sweetheart. Happy to have that. Tell you game. 1.30 a.m. Brian talks to Paul and Amma about his relationship with Josh. You are, the, you are the house comedian. You are the funny one. You're the one who makes everybody laugh. and Everybody finds you funny. But, I, you know, he, he doesn't. There's nothing wrong with bantering. Yeah. Right? But if it's causing problems. Mm. But I mean, I right? didn't think it was. If it's so causing ba no, no, it was. Right? If it's causing problems, quit the bantering. Mm. Oh, no, I'm being serious mm. because no. I don't get what is going on. But the inmates. What is going on? There's nothing. I thought there was nothing going on. No, 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 no. There is something going on. <laughs> Two or three a.m. Josh and Brian have asked to be left alone to discuss their differences. You don't realise you're doing it. The remarks I give back to you, you rise to them more than I rise to yours. And that's why I'm like, hang on, you can throw them at me, but you can't take them yourself, that's scary. I have never been serious to you. I've never once insulted you meaning it. And that's from the, my, um, my niece and nephew's life, because I'm not like that. Yeah, but the problem is... I do not... The problem is, you, I came in as a stranger, knowing no one. You completely attacked me, and since then... Josh. You're forgetting yeah. one thing, I could have attacked anyone that day. You checked the new person and you attacked them because I was gay. Oh, so... You asked the others, they all think it's because of that. No. Because I've talked with all of them, they said, if you'd walked in there straight or an old girl, it wouldn't have happened. Josh is so patient, isn't he? He's very patient, bro. It sounds like, um, it sounds... If you, if you listened to them, didn't you, you didn't know what was going on. It was like, Josh was in the wrong. Do you know yeah. what I mean? But it was a joke. I didn't mean it. It wasn't spice. But sometimes you don't know where to draw the line. That's the problem. Not you. But sometimes I don't know where probably the line's drawn either. So I mean, so it's a misjudgment thing. Then that that one then. It, it's a it's a constant misjudgment. Both ways. I think it's 50-50. I think it's. Both I don't think you're ever ever going to get my character. I think you really are. I don't think I'm ever going ever going to understand you. I mean, if I stayed tomorrow then, you know, a few bells can start ringing in my head that maybe I might get down to the last week. For the fourth morning this week, temperatures are approaching 30 degrees centigrade. Do you think the two of you are better now? That's about far as you can go. Let me. There's only three weeks at most anyway. Oh, I know. So, you know... Three weeks... Not being the best of friends for three weeks is... better than being... feeling... <clears throat> being made to feel uncomfortable. Oh, for honestly, weeks. I'm fine. I'll get over it, rise above it. Good. Good. It was a ritual killing back in, you know, like druids had done it or something. 12.54 p.m. Most of the group are discussing crime stories. He's obviously just carrying on the long tradition. Paul and Helen are outside. You OK today? Yeah. 
I want to stay though, H. Do you? Yeah. The last week you wanted to go. I know. It's weird, isn't it? This week I want to stay. The other week before you wanted to stay. Yeah, that's right. I change all the time. Mm, see that? H. Mm? You should put a bikini on, babe. Your bottoms. No one that. It doesn't make any difference. Um, I don't not look fat. You don't look fat. I don't know where I don't know where you think this from. I don't. I know. I know. I wind you up. I know, but, but I you am know that's a chubby. Joke. Huh? I am chubby. Three forty-three p.m. For the second time this week, Elizabeth has made lentil soup for lunch. Oh, Elizabeth, the soup is gorgeous. Good. There is a diet, isn't there, of, like, just soup? Soup it's diet, yeah. Soup. Cabbage, cabbage diet as well, it's, isn't it? There's an onion soup one. It's for heart patients. And so my mother started trying it, which is bad, because she's got a perfect heart. But you lose up to, to me, like, 20 pounds in a week. That's oh. good. Oh, I could so do I'm that. I'm try that. Yeah, but every meal is onion soup. I, I could do that. The breath would smell a bit. <laughs> Now. Ah! 9.16 p.m. The group play a game which involves guessing the meaning of obscure words. Gash, G-A-S-H, it's a word. It Is it a G A no. It's not go and... No. Uh, is it okay? No. I feel quite sick. Is it there like a head count? No. Okay. Gash is me a of rubbish. No, you see, it's not a word then. It's not, that's nonsense. That's not going to be in the dictionary. It's how is it nonsense? That's, that's it's airline terminology. We learn it off by heart. It's not nonsense, Paul. What, it's written in a flight book? Yes. Gash. Yes, it's written in all the flight book. books. It's a nonsense word. <laughs> but unfortunately, if, if I didn't do it, Paul, there'd be loads of rubbish on board the aircraft. Yeah. Therefore, we have to do it. Gash. The nonsense it's word. It's just a nonsense word. Yeah, I know it's a nonsense word, but I'm just saying that I have to do it. I think I'm getting into everyone's nerves lately. So I'm getting quite snappy. <laughs> Have you noticed? No. You got on Josh's nose, but you've sorted that, sorted that out. Yeah, I know, that's fine. That was all, you know. I just like it. Oh, do you know what I mean? Coming into week seven on Friday, and there's no way I could stay. You can't last. After week seven. Getting, I'll end up killing someone. You're getting snappy. Getting snappy. I'm yeah. Like, oh. I was a bit pissed off that you snapped at me, actually, Brian. You pissed off I snapped at you? Yeah. Why? Why? Yeah. Well, I'm just a bit pissed off, to be fair. I snap at everyone. I know you do. Paul, I probably didn't snap at you once, and which was outside on the couch. In the space of six weeks. Okay then. <laughs> So tomorrow could go either way, and either way, fair play to Emma or, you know, fair dues to me. Yeah. And Elizabeth has nominated Paul for eviction four times. So, I mean, if I stay tomorrow, then, you know, a few bells can start ringing on my head that maybe I might get down to the last week. Mm. It's, it's highly possible mm, because I've, I've stayed in and, you know, I've, I've been up against all types of characters in here. I've been up against someone I thought would have been possibly a favourite, which was like Bubble, right. yeah? I've kind of got confidence that maybe, you know, I could stay purely because of just mm. the way it's gone so far. Mm -hmm. um, because I don't consider Emma to be as big a character as Bubble was. But then again, I think that, you know, but three have... times is like... <laughs> It's either real lucky, and there's no yeah. way that I could get that lucky again. Or she could have a different look. Or she could have a different look to other people that we don't know about. So mm. the only week that I predicted, honestly, was last week, and I predicted I was going to go. And how wrong was I? Yeah. It's eviction, dear. Right there. Mm-hmm, I am, thank you. 
was the worst bit is like the non knowing in there. Mm, definitely. Yeah. But it isn't so bad now. It will be later, I'm sure. One fifty-eight p.m. In seven hours' time, the housemates will find out who's going. Shite. No water pressure, no mower. <laughs> like, fuck it. I don't care if he dies. <laughs> Full to pieces. Yeah. I'm only in here for three weeks. My lawn's probably looking lovely at home. <laughs> this is my perfect moment. Although he's been up for eviction four times in a row, Paul has never packed his suitcase before. Oh, what are you packing? Huh? I'm just getting... I've got to get all my stuff on the bed because there's just shit everywhere anyway. So whatever happens, if I've got all my dirty stuff there, I know I've got, I've got to wash that tomorrow. Oh. But I've left, like, clean stuff. Do you know what I mean? So are these dirty or clean? Dirty. Or some that I'm just not using so that I know uh, that tomorrow, tomorrow, if I'm here, uh, then I'll just wash it. Can wash. But basically, I just had a part... I just had so much rubbish everywhere. Filthy. I was like, I've got to sweat out because I've got, I've got to sweep the floor in here. Oh, you want to make sure it's all nice and tidy? Do you, do you know what I mean? There's just yeah. stuff everywhere. So whatever happens, I've got... Do you know what I mean? You, you, you're you prepared. I'm prepared, mate. Big Brother calls Brian to the diary room. Oh, evil. I feel a bit weird myself. I feel, a bit, I feel that I, I've changed a little bit. Um, I'm thinking differently, you know, about certain things and I'm, you know, open, you know, even talking about things or I'm, I'm willing to learn about different things. And I've kind of found out a few things about myself. Um, things, you know, that maybe weren't so good about me and, you know, things that maybe I can change in years to come. Sometimes I'm probably, you know, oblivious to how other people feel because I think I'm so absorbed myself in a sense, but it's really a bad thing and, you know, it's, it's not a major thing. But I do think that, you know, my problems are more important than everyone else's problems, which that's just, you know, not the way, not the, way the world works, you know? Oh, yes. 8.52 p.m. Oh, yes. 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 Oh, this week, you nominees are uncalled for eviction, and the nation has been voting. The results are now in. I can reveal that the fifth person to be evicted from the Big Brother house will be... Anna. Oh, okay. I am. Oh, fucking... Oh, fuck! Oh. <laughs> you can't do that, Anna. Going home, Anna. <laughs> Come on, Anna. You're going home, dude. Oh, You're going, going home. home. You've got an hour and a half to pack your bags yeah. and say goodbyes. I'm now switching off. Bye. Bye. Oh, Bye. Oh, my God, Anna. Bye. 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 Well done, mate. Oh. Okay. They love you. I can't know anyone else. Well done. Okay. Well done, Paul. Oh, God, Congratulations. Yes, food. Oh, Sausages. Oh, yeah. Emma. Oh. You're all right. You're all right. Well done, I am. You're going home, darling. Oh. It's been time to have to be in you, honey. <laughs> I'm a wonderful time. Knocking them all out. Oh you all have a wonderful time. You're not. No, no, you scared. Oh, my God. It lives on my fucking cat in it. Absolutely, absolutely bricking it at the moment. I think I would be too. If I can't offer any pearls of wisdom, except you've just got to enjoy yourself. I'm certainly going to try. Josh was one of the four housemates who nominated Amma. Makeup. 
I'm hot. What did I say to you? What did I say to you? You've got a fan club out there, hasn't he? Hmm? Got a big fan yeah, club. Yeah, that's, that's a cool thing. You know what I mean? Mm. I'm not... I don't feel in any way... I'm very happy for him, actually. At least he knows when he leaves. He's going to be... Uh... He's got a fuck all... Ah, oh, that's ages away. Yeah, He's got a fuck all to worry about, yeah. and that's the most important thing. I actually can't sit down properly in these trousers. I put on so much work. Oh! After 43 days in the Big Brother house, Amma returns to the outside world. Take care, we'll see you soon. Love you. What's your name? What's your name? Oh, oh the most depressing nice. song of all. And then, guys. And then, group hug. Guys, group hug. Guys, 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 guys. And then, there were six. Three more weeks, and that is it. And Hang in there, dudes. Out, and it's going to be fantastic. Look at our feet. There's only 12. Ooh, look at my toe. <laughs> I worry for you, Brian. <laughs> Amma has been gone for an hour. I mean, but you oh, could have gone, too. like, you know, four times at the nomination. Your head could start to grow, couldn't it? When I was younger, maybe my head would have swelled, honestly. But I think I've grown up a lot. I think I've matured a lot over the last few years. It's quite funny. It's weird. Couldn't have predicted this. No way. You know, the first time you was up, did you think you was going? Yeah. Was you shocked then? Yeah. And you keep on getting shocked every week? Yeah. Every single week. And if it, if it happens again, mm -hmm. so next week I'll be even more shocked. It's going to get harder now. One more has been set free <sighs> from this pride of This lines. feels really small here, doesn't it? It feels nicer. It's nice, yeah. He's more intimate. It's really yeah. small, though. Like. Really intimate. Yeah. Yeah. Next, it's big hair and big hits with the top ten of 1987. And there are more Big Brother revelations on Monday at 10.35. Over on E4 now, there's live action from the house. You can buy a Big Brother voucher for the latest gossip ringtones and icons sent direct to your mobile. Vouchers priced at £4.99 are available in the shops right now.